Hello, my 3D printer peeps. Hello, Bamboo Lab 3D printer users. I'm sitting here with the Bamboo Lab P1S. You could also be sitting here with the Bamboo Lab P1P. They are virtually the same, and you can do today's accessory on either one. If you are looking for a better lighting solution for your Bamboo Lab P1P or P1S, Biku has sent me over this little tube. Inside this tube is their Panda Lux LED upgrade kit, and I'm going to go ahead and install it for you today. When you open this tube, you will be greeted with this QR code. Simply hold your camera on your phone to this code, and it will take you to a wiki or a YouTube video teaching you how to install it. You don't need this because I'm going to teach you how to install it. Dump out the tube and you'll find the LED kit and all the wiring and accessories needed to install it. Focus your eyes on this bag right here. Inside this bag is the LED light, this splitter board, this wire, this piece of foam tape, and these four pieces of double-sided 3M tape. This light is installed along the front edge of the P1 series printer. I will turn mine around so we can get a look at that. Look for this tab right here. Grab this tab here and gently and carefully remove this cover. It is a sticky cover that may adhere itself to this ribbon cable and if you're not careful it may remove or even break this ribbon cable so please remove this carefully you are looking for this connection right here we are going to gently grab it pinch it and disconnect it that plug is the plug to your original led light you are going to bring the led light from the top or through the door Inside the printer, you will see the cable is on this side. The LED light faces down. And if you need any more information, this little wedgie part, the point faces the back of the printer. If you'd like, you can use double-sided tape for this. However, have a look at the back of this fixture and you will notice magnets. Watch how hard this installation is. Come down, find the little lip underneath that circuit board. And place the light strip right there. The magnets have snapped to the metal casing and your LED light is installed. The only thing left to do is connect the new light to the plug of the old light. If you look really close, right here, you will see there's a hole. You may shift the LED fixture over a little bit to make room to feed this wire through that hole. And now it's time to power the light. We need to connect the light to this connector. However, it needs to be done using the extension cable and this piece that came with your kit. It was originally intended for this splitter to allow you to power both LED lights at the same time. Since then, it's been advised not to do this, so we will only be connecting the new light. The new light will connect to this port right here and the motherboard will connect using the jumper wire to this port right here. I'm telling you right now, this is a very delicate job. Do not rush. Take your time and get it right. The first thing you will do is connect the jumper that came with the kit to this port right here. The connector looks like this and it only fits one way. If you are confused, the other side has a visible clip. This connector with the visible clip goes to the circuit board. The other connector goes to the adapter. Here is the adapter. Take the cable and connect it to that top left corner.
With this connector in place, turn it around and peel off this blue sticker. Next up, take the wire coming from the new light and connect it to this lower right corner. Finally, take this wire and attach it to the circuit board. It's virtually impossible for me to find a way to show you how to connect this wire. You're on your own. Simply line it up gently with the clip facing away and click it into place. You are left with this little adapter board connected to the new light and the motherboard. We peeled off the double-sided tape, find a safe spot inside the printer, and stick it down. One final step, if you feel brave enough to attempt it, is to take that foam cover and work it back on to the machine. There you go. If you've done everything correctly, it's time to turn on the machine and test out your new light. Here I am, sitting in the dark. Let's turn the printer on. It's possible that your light may be defaulted to off. To fix that, use your keypad, scroll down one notch from home, press right, scroll down until you reach the light bulb icon. Press OK to toggle that to on. And there it is, your Panda Lux light is working. Light off, light on, light off, light on. And there it is, the Panda Lux LED light for your P1 printer. Whether or not this upgrade is worth your time is up to you. One thing worth noting is that this is a front facing light rather than a side facing light. I do believe a front facing light for obvious reasons is a superior setup. You're on the 3D Rundown YouTube channel. I'm Greg Adventure, your instructor on 3drundown.com, the band around the common career around the common crowd around the com across the internet and installing the Bikku LED Panda Lux light on the P1S was today's adventure.